What's up everybody, it's AD and I'm here at EVO 2019 joined by Jake, AKA Nips, who is the owner of Console Gaming League. So for those out there watching who may not know, what can you tell me about CGL? Um, it is a league for gamers who play on console only. So we do tournaments for console games, just <laughs> anything console related. So first person shooters, fighting games, sports games and try to do things that other people don't. Okay, no, that's fair. I think it's great because we aren't seeing anything like that out right now. So what was it that made you want to dive into getting into the fighting game portion and bringing that into the league? Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 dropped. So Mortal Kombat's one of my favorite games ever. I grew up on it um, and it makes sense. So there's a lot of, uh, um, a lot on the business side of things that makes sense with Mortal Kombat. I think that's why WB's so invested right now in the IP. So um, there's a lot of opportunity with Mortal Kombat, and I want to see if I can help others take advantage of that. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of opportunities within the game, and we've seen so many different things take off ever since this game started as soon as you know April came it's like it just completely took off so you've obviously you've done a few tournaments so far what can you tell me talk a little bit about those um yeah so they were fun we we did something called console combat league where we ran a six-week series to be able to get to a, a, a tournament or qualify for a tournament um, where we sent PlayStation 4 and Xbox player to Evo Xbox player didn't make it, but PlayStation 4 player made it. He did pretty well, so it would. Uh, it was really fun. <clears throat> it went really well, so we're gonna do a lot more Mortal Kombat very soon. <laughs> yeah. What else are you looking to do, or what do you already have going out right now that people may have seen that's related to CGL? Um. Currently, we have, so we just got through doing the $10,000 Overwatch League for PlayStation 4 and Xbox. And then we got into Mortal Kombat. We're doing Call of Duty now. We've got the CGL Valkyrie with women. Um, we've got Killer Instinct. Uh, bring Back Killer Instinct tournament coming up this month on the 23rd. <laughs> and then we've got a Fantasy Strike launch coming up on the 16th okay. uh, Pro Invitational, which I'm super excited about. And then September 1st, we're starting the launch of Console Combat 2. Console Combat 2? Yes. So what is what exactly is that? So Console Combat 2 is going to be a, a kind of big thing. We've got a lot of partners involved. We're going to announce those partners later, um, probably later today. Um, so we're going to be having 64 tournaments over the course of September, October, and November. And then <clears throat> 32 on Xbox, 32 on PlayStation 4. Majority of those are going to be hosted by partners, not us. We're going to host 20, and then 44 are going to be hosted by partners. Um, <clears throat> Each of those tournaments are going to act as qualifiers to get into a $10,000 tournament for each console, so 20 grand total. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to host that in December. So Xbox is December 7th and 8th, and PlayStation is December 14th and 15th. Wow, so $20,000 you guys are putting into a console tournament. I don't think we've ever seen anything like that <laughs> before. So what was it that made you want to decide to take that leap and put all of this into such, you know, a huge tournament? Um, Mortal Kombat, I mean, I don't, it is console, that's fair. But it, I mean, it's always been console. So mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those that <clears throat> naturally is always going to be on console, I think, primarily. Um, Mortal Kombat's blowing up right now. It's the number one game, uh, selling game of the year. Mm -hmm. And they're really... NRS Esports is actually putting a lot behind it, mm -hmm. which is good for a third party. It's very helpful for a third party because it makes it possible for us to give other opportunities and do creative things. Whereas if we don't have that flexibility from other developers, then we're limited and we can't support those titles. And the more support we can give to the titles, the more support for the scene, 
the longer the game lives and the longer the community thrives. Yeah, absolutely. So I hope the community, they should be excited to hear about something like that. And I hope that everybody jumps in on that opportunity because it's something that, you know, like I said, we don't aren't get to be able to see. So I'm like I said, I just want everybody out there yeah. to who's looking to be excited yeah, about it and join in on it. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, it's going to be um, fun. Right? I'm really mom right now, but <clears throat> it's nice out here. So. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited. So the, the best part is it's free to enter. So no entry fees. No partners can charge entry fees. There's no entry fees for any of these tournaments to get in there. There's no travel. It's online. So an opportunity to win a good amount of money without having to go out of your way to do it. Mm. And um, at the comfort of their own homes. Yeah. Which is easy, right? You just, you know, hop out of bed, go turn on the PlayStation or your Xbox, get to go and earn yourself some money. I feel like there's a lot, like at these events, there's a lot of people who don't make it out to them, who you can actually have. There's, there's a concern of legitimacy of doing a tournament online because of latency issues. But in the same, uh, to the same extent, how, how legitimate is a tournament at a LAN if five out of the top 15 or 20 guys don't make it because it's too expensive for them to make it out. So I'm hoping to see some good competition. We'll definitely see it. And, of course, everybody's going to be keeping an eye out on it. Um, anything else that you're doing related to the FGC outside of C CGL that you can mention? Um, that I can mention? <laughs> <laughs> no. Or just anything out there? <laughs> um, soon. Soon? Yeah. Right, hey. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No, I'm a teaser. Hey, that's fair. Well, hey, I'll take it. A lot of people don't like it, but I like to tease things <laughs> quite a bit. I'm an inception teaser so and i do the inception announcement which is the announcement of the announcement oh okay we're doing that of the announcement <laughs> <laughs> hey i'll take that hey everything you mentioned today so far i think is great news um i'm glad we could talk about it and people can learn more about you and the idea and the vision behind cgl and what we're looking to do and what's coming up yeah um it's community built community operated um entirely focused around community so Everything's free for everybody. Uh, the idea is for everybody to have some fun, have a lot of tournaments going on, so competition. Players get to practice uh, for the, the LAN events, the big LAN events over the next few months as well, going into pro competition. And then players who don't get to make it out to those events have something still to participate in. Mm -hmm. And then with that many tournaments, 64 of the course of three months, basically, many tournaments a week for people to participate in and challenge themselves and get better. No, I, and I appreciate that. I mean, even though I don't actively participate in these tournaments, I think it's great, like you said, for the community and be able to have these opportunities because traveling around the country to offline events is not cheap and not everyone can do it. So to be able to have that opportunity for something like this and have, you know, a great amount of money into it, I think is great. So yeah, I'm, excited. I'm I, I thank I you. Hope people have fun. And They're going to have advantage fun. of anything they can mm -hmm. stream, um, the partners hosting the tournaments, um, make content around it. We're not going to hit you with like a content creation thing, like make as much content out of it as you want and promote it for yourselves mm -hmm. and use it as a tool or an opportunity. And that's what it's for. Yeah. So it's huge. Anybody watching, if you are competing and playing Mortal Kombat or if you're not and looking into it, now's the time to get into it. So thank you so much, Nips, for talking to me. I appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.